What is up guys, coming at you today with the best deck profile I'm ever going to show you. This is the best Pendulum deck, the best Dragon deck, the best Eyes Monsters deck. Over Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, this is the best. Odd Eyes beats all. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the deck profile. It's really, really amazing. Um, and yeah, and it's kind of like the mask on my channel as well. Um, so, if anything, this will be the best. So, without further ado, um, you need three... Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Now you have to, all the ratios I have, you have to run it. I'm running, I think I might change one proxy, I'll show you. I'm not, it's not a proxy, but I'll show you what I mean um, when I get to it. So, uh, you have Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon attacks for double damage, and he also can search um, while in the Pendulum Zone. You don't really use much of the Pendulum Zones, really. Um, next, the best card of the deck, uh, Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon, amazing, 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 came out as like a V jump or a special edition thing, um, but I had to get my hands on it just because it's, it's amazing, love this card, uh, right, so, another level 7, another dark, uh, another Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon, um, another Odd Eyes card, uh, so basically what this card does is when it attacks, um, if you have Odd Eyes monsters in your pendulum zone, you can inflict 1200 damage um, to your opponent for each kind of thing, so just say it attacks over uh, a 2400, you, you inflict 100 damage, but you're also going to inflict uh, 2400, depending on um, if there's two Odd Eyes monsters in your pendulum zone, pretty easy, um, and then the second one is if it's a pendulum monster, um, you can have an Odd Eyes card you control, gain 1200 during the battle step. Now, in his manga form, it used to be a lot, lot stronger. He used to, if your opponent attacked directly, he could special on himself. So your opponent's never attacking directly, which is pretty, pretty cool. Or else I think inflict damage first and then he could special on himself. Something like that, um, which is obviously a lot stronger. But manga cards seem to kind of uh, get a bit of a nerf when they come out in real life. Um, next three of uh, Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Um, these, these next two are kind of hard to explain a little bit. Um, so... I'm just going to read out the effect real quick of this one, just because it's kind of it's a bit difficult to understand. So, once per turn during either player's turn, you can tag one face of monster on the field. It was special, but the extra deck hasn't investigated. That was pretty easy. Um, but the pendulum effect is... Um, so, let's say your opponent uh, targets one Odd Eyes monster uh, on the field. During the end phase, you can special summon him from the pendulum zone. And then take... Just say just say this this was destroyed, uh, or even Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon was destroyed. Um, you can special summon that to your pendulum zone. So this goes on the field as a defense of 2400, which is pretty nice, and the other one gets your scale back. Um, that's pretty much the effect. It's kind of difficult when you're reading it, though, to actually understand all those. Um, next, we have three of the um, Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. Sorry, just fixing around a few card stuff, um, because I do have a, the combo to show you after. Um, now, this one is basically, um, you can target... Uh, during either player's turn, while an Odd Eyes card is in your Pendulum Zone, you can target one Odd Eyes monster you control. This this turn, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Um, so you can do that during either player's turn, protect itself, protect Odd Eyes Phantom, protect Odd Eyes Pendulum, Persona, whatever you want. Um, and then, uh, once per turn, if a face-up Odd Eyes Pendulum uh, monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one card in your Pendulum Zone, and if you do place one face-up Odd Eyes Pendulum monster from your extra deck into the Pendulum Zone. So, it works really well with Sky Iris because you can target itself, and then uh, destroy the other Pendulum. Just say you have two scales, um, you can use Sky Iris to target this, search for an Odd Eyes, and then you can destroy the other card, just say the other card is an Odd Eyes Persona, and you can put Persona back into the extra deck, um, and then get your search off for free kind of thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, so yeah. But I don't think you're going to destroy it if it is Odd Eyes Persona or whatever. So yeah, that's it for the Odd Eyes cards. Um, next we have, for the, well, I run a Magician build. I don't really run the other Odd Eyes. But when the other Odd Eyes cards come out, it actually will be pretty good. Um, two Dragon Pit Magician and two Zangeki Magician. Um, Zangeki helps you get into your boss monsters. Um and Dragon Pit is another 7, and another scale 8, and can pop back row, that's why we don't run any uh, Twin Twisters or anything like that. Next, uh, because of the ban list, recently uh, upgraded Wisdom My Magician, very very good, um, you can search any of those two magicians and the magician I'm about to show you, and put them into the Dependum Zone. Um, yeah. Next. Uh, I'm gonna run one off Dragon Magician. Now I didn't. This is gonna be a Dragon. Uh, what's it called? Dragon Noble Dragon Magician. Um, but for now, let's just say this is how the deck runs anyway. So two off Dragon Magician, but really it's gonna be two of this card instead. Um, yeah. So 
for now though, this is why I have it. I just didn't have the time to look for an old dragon magician, the second one, um, but this is the way I had it originally. So, old dragon is really good because it can, uh, if you're using your exceeds, which you will be going into, you can add them back either from your pendulum or from your extra deck or from your graveyard back to your hand. Um, yeah, so that's that. Next is the noble dragon magician and the time breaker magician. And um, there's combos with that as well. Um, just to summon for that, I have what is it called? I have coral dragon. Um, for that because you can go into Coral Dragon with this that card or this those two cards pretty easily or even um, Odyssey's Mirage you can use these two to go into Coral Dragon because it is a dragon type um, which is pretty good as well uh, yeah so that's what that is for let me see and then Time Breaker Magician it's just one of those it's a two scale level three another dark um, it can have 2400 attack uh, yeah Next, I run three Odd Eyes Fusion. Um, Odd Eyes Fusion is searchable with Skyers, but you're going to want to search your scales and Odd Eyes Persona, Mirage, Phantom, Pendulum. So you're not going to get time to search uh, the Odd Eyes Fusion. So I want to draw an Odd Eyes Fusion um, because it is basically first turn you can get your um, Vortex out. First turn. Um, or you can use it for Starving Venom later on. Pretty self explanatory. Next, for a bit of draw power, Oda, or a lure of darkness. Um, they're all pretty much dark except for the magicians. Um, most of the magicians are dark as well. Uh, two, sorry, three Sky Iris. There it is there. Three Sky Iris. Um, Sky Iris is, uh, I'll show you a combo. The combo actually needs Sky Iris as well, and I'll show you that um, when I get to it. But you can basically pop a card. Um, save your scales and add an odd ice to your hand. Uh, two terraform and search it, pretty self-explanatory. Two dark hole because a lot of decks now can't actually deal with mass uh, board wipes and stuff, so it's really good. And you don't really mind because you can pendulum zone the back later anyway. Um, Ignite reload. Now I might add this to uh, add another one. I'm thinking I might add another one just because it might work really well. And um, basically what it does is. It changes this, and just say you've won a uh, pendulum monster in your hand, you can shuffle that and that together. Um, yeah, I'm actually after missing a card. Uh, perform by the school crab joker, searches the whole deck. I'll, everyone remembers that was the last monster. Sorry, <laughs> um, pendulum call, search of magicians, upstart goblin because you want to run 39 deck, and wonder one because you have loads of spell casters, you can just tribute the spell caster, even just say school crab joker on the field. Equipment Wonder Wand, um, get your search off and then draw two cards. Simple, uh, pretty, pretty easy. Um, all why this is the best deck ever. And I mean that, best deck ever. Right, so extra deck. Um, that is the 40 card deck. This deck, the extra deck is only 14 cards, I think. Uh, funny enough. So anyway, so Odd Eyes Rebellion is really, really good, especially just for the destruction effect. Sometimes you can just go into Odd Eyes Phantom and Odd Eyes Pendulum uh, just to go into this because when it's destroyed, then you get a free scale to keep someone on the back real easy um, because this destroys all your Pendulum Zones and then uh, you can special them from the deck any scale you want, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so that is what that is. And let me think. Oh, if so, if you use it with the... An XE monster with the little other combo I have, um, you can attack three times and inflict a good, bit, a good amount of damage. Um, and this card is if uh, this card I'm not going to really summon that for that. Um, I'd more likely use this because this can wipe the board, um, and it can attack twice. And then if it's just right, you can put in the pendulum zone. And it's a pendulum, it's a one scale, which is much much better. Um, so there's that. Then I have two of probably the best XE in this deck as well. Uh, two all eyes absolute absolute is like utopia can negate an attack and when it negates it especially when it's an from the graveyard any all eyes which is pretty, pretty amazing um and then it, what it can do is uh yeah i think that's actually it <laughs> sorry yeah um then the one number 11 big eye because it just in case you want to steal your monsters steal your opponent's monsters and then um the flare metal dragon just to stop your opponent from doing stuff you're going to just negate all their stuff yeah, and you can't run the Dimension Dragon deck without the Dimension Dragons. Um, Dark Rebellion. Then we have Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Um, just put them beside each other. And we have Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Everybody knows what these cards do. If you don't, you haven't been watching the manga, it's something wrong with you. This will make the best deck ever best deck. Simple as. They use the best cards. And you can go into them all with this deck, no problem. Um, for the rest of the XCs, let's see. So, like I said, Coral Dragon go into with a three and a three simple. Um, uh, Odyssey's Meteor Burst is your main combo piece as well for this combo I'm about to show you. And this card as well, Nirvana High Paladin, how to summon this card with uh, two cards, three cards, I think. Um, 
yeah, so we'll show you that very soon. And then the last fusion monsters, all these vortex dragon, very, very good. Um, yeah, so I will show you what they do. I have to get into the combo as soon as it hits 10 minutes. It's right now. Okay, so let's see. So this is what you need for your combo. So all you need is three cards in your hand. This is searchable. This this is searchable. Um, and this means you're just going to have to kind of draw it. So this could be already on the field or whatever. Um, but three cards just so you open up with this kind of hand. This is why I want to add another one of this to improve the chances of drawing into it um, for this particular combo. Because it's very easy to get these cards in your hand. They're not that hard to get. Um, but this is searchable. The only thing that is hard is Perform Ball Skull Crowbat Joker. Um, I'm trying to think if a Perform Ball card comes that searches another one. I might add it to, your, I might add it to the deck. Um, but yeah, and this is very easy to kind of get to the graveyard and stuff as well uh, with um, the Iris Magician or whatever it's called. Um, they recently came to two. I mean, you can get it to the Pendulum Zone, destroy it straight away, and it's in your graveyard pretty easily. So let's get to the deck, bro, or the thing. So um, let me think. Right, so you normal summon. I'll get this out of the way. Normal summon your Perform Pal Skull Crobat Joker. Okay. This searches, uh, this searches your Oddice Persona Dragon to your hand. I'll put my hand right here on the bottom. Like this, okay. So you search that. Next, while you activate Skyers, or if Skyers is already activated, you can just activate it now. Tribute this monster. Tribute this monster to add an Oddice card from your deck to your hand, which you're going to add Mirage Dragon. These are your scales, obviously. Next, you're going to activate your scales, which is Odd-Eyes Persona and Odd-Eyes Mirage Dragon. Very easy to add your scales. And then you're going to Pendulum Summon. So the Pendulum Summon is one Noble Dragon Magician from your hand and or extra deck. And one Perform Pal Skull Crobat Joker. Next, you are going to Synchro these two for four, five, six, seven. Has to be a Dragon type. You are going to summon Meteor Burst Dragon. These go to the face of extra deck. Meteor Burst Dragon activates its effects, summoning this card, which is Mirage Dragon. Now, you are going to Synchro again, because this is now treated as a tuner with this card's effect. You get rid of these two, and you have Nirvana High Paladin. That is the combo. That is the deck profile. That is the best deck profile I can ever come up with. Thank you very much again, guys, for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe to how much you think of it. And goodbye!